So this is a quick video to show you how you get to the CAD files and how you export them and generate your G code that you can run on a CNC router. Step one, you click on the link under the video that will open on shape. You do not need to create any type of account. Um, all the files are open. So you can just go in and download whatever you need and want. This is the main assembly of the base station and all the flat parts like the forearms, like the gimbal and the generator plate are milled from 10 millimeters aluminum. And those parts are the ones that can be CNC'd. So step one, you click on any of the arms or any of the parts that you want to make. You right click and say open linked document that will open the design for this part and in there you can download the part in many different 3d formats so if you right click on the tab down here say export you can download the part in solidwork file format or as a step step file on stl file if you want to print the part and not see and see it but in our case um, the cam software can only process 2d files so we pick a surface of the part that contains all the features right click on it and say export as dxf dwg you can pick different versions of the old autodesk file formats i typically just leave the default so whatever works best for you and you save the file now you open your cam software in my case that is vcarve not because i'm a particularly big fan of it but because i own a license and have been using it for a while and now we open um, the file that we just downloaded This is the drawing of the part. Um, now we set our job configuration. Obviously the file did not contain the thickness of the part. So we have to set it to 10 millimeters. All flat parts are have a thickness of 10 millimeters. Either you believe me or you actually take it um, from the part by picking two parallel lines and it shows you the parallel distance is 10 millimeters so that is the thickness of our part okay 10 millimeters no offset zero position is correct so yes it's okay um, now something that needs to be done in vcarve um, it loaded all the vectors as separate vectors we need to close them to actually be able to generate a tool path. So we select all vectors, control A, and say join open vectors. Now if I click on the same vector, you'll see that basically this created a closed path that I can use to generate my tool path. And the same here in the middle. This is now one closed vector, which is good. So we pick the first vector, say tool path. In this case, it's a profile. Thickness is correct. Um, my favorite end mill, six millimeter, two flute, but we want to cut on the inside. Good. It warns that we would cut through. I have a waste board under the part, and just to make sure that my cheap Chinese router makes it all the way through, I'd like to cut a little bit too deep. That's up to you and your router to decide. Um, the two holes here, you can select multiple vectors by clicking Shift. Since I don't have a tool changer, I will not drill those holes, but I'll actually run them as pockets. 10.1 all the way through, 6 millimeters. Yes. Calculate. Okay. And now, once we have all the 
features, we cut out the part by selecting the external vector. Say profile. This time we cut on the outside. Tempo one millimeter, six millimeter end metal. That all looks good to me. Calculate. Okay. So now we have our three tool paths, and we can go and save the G code, export the G code, or save the tool path. We want to call it. So this basically now generates. The G code here you can select your post processor so that it matches your machine. Um, I run Linux CNC in arcs at millimeters, so select our tool path and save tool path. This generates the G code file that we then can load on the router and make the part. Thank you.